welcome to the Glenarm Estate, where down in the arena there, the events are about to begin in the fifth annual Clash of the Celtic Giants. We'll be bringing you two programmes from this wonderful estate. The second of those is the World Highland Games, but for now, it's Europe's strongest women. And here are three of the ladies chasing that title. Anna, tell me what sort of training have you been doing for this event? Well, this competition now training four days a week and two hours a day. Serious stuff, but of course there's more than just three competitors. Yes, over here, let me introduce you to five more pretty tough competitors taking part in the competition. First up, we've got Ilja Streak from Holland, followed by Joe Cutts from England. Then we've got Haini Kuivanimi from Finland. And of course, there'll be plenty of support for the two Irish girls, Trish Porter and Emma James. And now let me introduce you to these ladies properly. This is, of course, Julie Dunkley, Britain's strongest woman. Anna Rosen, Europe's strongest woman and reigning champion here at Glenarm. And of course, Aneta Flortic, world's strongest woman. A hugely impressive lineup. Yes, fantastic lineup here at Glenarm. And there's only one way to find out if Anna can retain her title, and that is to get started. In this event, the women have to flip this 200 kilogram tire, not once, not twice, but three times. And if that wasn't enough, they then have to do the duck walk, which involves lifting this 100 kilogram weight and racing with it between their legs for 20 meters to the finish line. Why is it called a duck walk, I hear you ask? Watch and find out. Well, the first head-to-head -head is between the 24-year-old from England and current British strongest woman, Julie Dunkley. And she's up against last year's winner, the 31-year-old from Sweden, Anna Rosen. Ready? Yeah. They're away. Three flips of this big tyre weighing over 32 and a half stone. Anna Rosen, who won the tyre flip last year, is going really well. Julie Dunkley couldn't move the tyre last year, but she's flying in 2004 at Glenarm. And in the duck walk, she's taken the lead ahead of Anna Rosen. This is a good time from Julie Dunkley. Rosen drops it, Julie Dunkley across the line in 23.5 seconds and Anna there in just under 26. Well it's pretty hard to even see the 33 year old from Makara, Trish Porter behind that massive tyre and she's up against the world's strongest woman, the 22 year old Aneta Flortick. Well Trish Porter likes the tire flip and Netta too is good in that discipline she takes a bit of an advantage Trish with her third lift and Netta has finished now Netta won the duck walk at Glenarm last year so she should be very very quick indeed she was third in the world championships in this discipline and this is a good time and it's the quickest time 23.05 seconds Trish Porter, while well, she's struggling a bit, she doesn't like the duck walk because of her size. But that doesn't matter. Just look at the effort. She's determined to finish this course, and she does so with a bang at the end. Not too bad. It's just my height with the duck walk is very... The hand is very hard to try and get speed up. But we'll see. <laughs> Next up on the near side, it's Emma James, the 34-year-old originally from Belfast, and she's up against tough opposition from Finland, Haini Huivanimi. Quick start by Haini. She was second in the world's strongest woman in the tire flip, so she should be good at this event, as should Emma James with a big power lifting background. Haini, oh, she's finished the three flips already. She was second in the duck walk last year at Glenarm as well. This is a magnificent opening performance, and this looks like a quick time. She keeps the momentum going. Emma James with a slip, and that's a super time. The quickest time so far, 22.5 seconds from the flying fin. Emma James finishes the course. She's almost there, and just over 34 seconds for her. The final pairing in the discipline is Ilja Streak, the 31-year-old from Holland against Joe Cutts from England. Can either beat the best time of 22.5 seconds set by Heine. Eja Streak on the far side was third in the tire flip last year. This is Joe Cutts first performance at Glenarm. Eja not going badly at all. 
Now onto the duck walk. She's got that very quick time of 22.5 seconds set by Heine. I don't think she's going to beat that. But just look at the muscles in the biceps and in the thighs. Waddles towards the finishing line. And she's there. 27.6 seconds. Joe cuts a bit down on that time. Almost at the finish. And drops it just before the finish line. We'll have to go back. Another couple of vital inches, and that's a time of 39.68. Lockings on the duck walk. Don't mind the tie flip with the duck walk. He's not me. <laughs> so a surprise leader after round one, the thin Heine Quivenimi, the world's strongest woman. Annette Florzik is in second with Europe's strongest woman and the winner here last year, down in fourth. Well, in the next event, the women stand with their backs to this car and then try and lift it with these handles as many times as possible in 75 seconds. Stop! This is the third competitor in the car deadlift, Emma James from Belfast. She now lives in England. Just struggling a wee bit here at the start. The target to beat is four lifts. That was set by fellow Irish woman Trish Porter. That's two lifts from Emma James. Three. Emma James is going well, that's three lifts. She was second in Britain's Strongest Woman, and that was her first event ever. Well, she's shouting herself encouragement. She's gritting her teeth. Can she make it five? She can. She won the World Powerlifting Championships in the year 2000. I don't think she can squeeze a sixth lift out. She's had enough. Do you feel you're relaxing into it better now, though? Not as nervous. No, no, but it's just I can get my teeth into that a bit better. I'm used to anything I can scream about since so about. Well, just 30 seconds gone, and already Ilja Streak has five lifts, so Emma James' lead was short lift, and that's six from the 31-year-old from Holland. 45 seconds gone now, and that's seven. Well, she's screaming at herself. She wants to make it into double figures. This is a great performance. She took part in the World Powerlifting Championships this year in France. She's a big, strong girl. And that's 10. She's got about 10 seconds for one more lift. Can she make it 11? I think she can. She's got time. Just about. And she's made it. 11 lifts for Aegis Street. She takes the lead. I don't feel anything. I'm happy. Anna Rosen with no Stop. shoes. Two lifts already. Stop. And she is making this look very, very easy. Four lifts for Anna Rosen. She won this event last year. She's the reigning champion at Glenarm and will be disappointed that she's only lying in fourth place after the first event. That's six lifts for Anna Rosen. She has been carrying a bit of a back injury, but there's certainly no sign of it here. Just look at the veins and the muscles bulging in her neck. Seven lifts. She's got 11 to beat set by Ilja Streak. Eight. That's eight lifts Stop. from the woman who plays Medusa in the Swedish version of Gladiators. Nine, Nine lifts. Stop. Can she manage two more? Time ticking away. Just getting her breath. All her energy and all her effort. She gets ten. Can she equal the target set by Egypt? Anna Rosen, the reigning champion, equals it. Is there time to get one more? No, there's not. 11 less for Anna Rosen. Great performance by her. Yeah, exciting. I was very worried for this event because I hurt my back for two weeks ago. So I was afraid, but ah, it works. Next up was Julie Dunkley. Disappointed only to lift six. Then he fared a little better with eight lifts, but Annette Flortek was flying nine lifts with just 25 seconds gone. What a performance from the former Polish powerlifting champion.
13 times at junior level and now at senior level. She's the youngest competitor here. And this is a tremendous show of strength. 14 lifts and still plenty of time remaining. 15 lifts. Well, she's making that car look as light as a feather. 16 lifts, now 17 lifts, and she's still got 20 seconds left. Well, illustrating exactly why she's the current world's strongest woman. 19 left, she'll want the round 20. She's got about six seconds to do it. I think she'll make it, and that's brilliant from Annette Florsic. 20 lifts, and surely unbeatable. So after last year's event, now what did you go home and tell people in Poland about Glen Arm? It's lovely, nice, <laughs> and we won back every year. <laughs> So the comfortable winner of the car lift for revs is Anita. A maximum eight points for her. Ilja and Anna share second place. And that means Aneta pars her way in front after two rounds. Heine's in second, and there's just one and a half points separating the next three. Now I reckon the crowd here at Glenarm will really enjoy this next event. It's the pole push. Now we've got a 4.5 metre pole, a girl at each end, and they're going to have to try and push each other outside of the circle here. All the heats are sudden death, and the final is the best of three. Well, in the quarterfinals, Ilja Streak beat Emma James. Anna Rosen was too good for Trish Porter. Netta won as Joe Cuts fell. He took victory over Julie. The first semi final was between Ilja Streak of Holland and Finland's Heini Kuivenimi. Heini down crouching low, Ilja holding her off at the moment. You don't want to fall or step outside the ring, and Heini's through to the final. Ilja did well at the start, but then just lost her grip on the surface, and it was all over. Well, what a matchup this is. Anna Rosen, Europe's strongest woman, against Aneta Flortek, the world's strongest woman. Anna Rosen trying to get the drive on. Anita just running around a little. Well, this is the best contest so far. Look at the determination there from Anna Rosen. And she's beaten the world's strongest woman. Last year's winner here at Glenar is through to the final, and she enjoyed that, didn't she? I told you, it was my ring, and she gone out. This is an important head-to-head, -head, the final. Haney Kuivenimi against Anna Rosen, the defending champion. Haney going very low. Anna certainly the taller competitor, and she's just about holding Anna off. Look at the strain in her muscles, Anna digging in very hard. This is a very close battle. Looks like Heidi's lost the first one. Anna was on the ground, so who's the winner? Well, the judges will decide. Anna driving Heidi backwards. Now, was Heidi out of the ring first before Anna was on the ground? Yes, she was. Just about. Both athletes making sure they've got a firm grip. Heine needs to win this one to stay in the final. Again, she tries to crouch down low, but Anna tries to drive her backwards, loses her footing a little. It's a very, very even contest. They're fighting for the ground. Anna now getting a little bit of drive, taking the strain in the thighs, but Heine staying low. This is a great matchup. Heine not giving in without a super fight here. Anna edging her ever closer. Heine fighting back again. It's almost stalemate in the middle. Who can last the longest? It's Heine. Anna's on her knees. And she's used a lot of energy there. Well, every muscle in the body must ache after this. Anna Rosen eventually lost her footing as Heine kept a good low stance to the ground, and it's one apiece. Both these women very tired after the first two bouts. Anna Rosen was puffing and panting very heavily. 
and he's trying to dig her right foot in. Moving Anna now around the ring. Good footwork there, good athleticism from the Finn. Anna Rosen ever so close to the edge, she's outside. That's a great win for Haney. So that's two wins for Haney at Europe's strongest woman so far. She put all her effort and determination into that. And just look how much it meant to her. Great win for the Finn. You look very thrilled at the end of that one. Oh, I was very. That was one of the best wins I've ever got, like even win. Felt good. Oh, the madness. Oh. Well, there's a really strong lineup at Glenarm this year, and it couldn't be closer after three events at the top of the overall table. Anita and Heine tied for first place with Anna in third. This Pindo Irish Sea, Europe's strongest woman, has attracted massive crowds to Glenarm again this year. The next event is the log lift, and all eight women lifted 50, 60, and 70 kilograms. But 75 proved too much for Joe and Emma, and the women only get one lift each. Well, here's Trish Corder, one of the smallest competitors in the competition. And the big crowd here at Glenarm would love to see her lift 80 kilograms. Been suffering from a hamstring problem, but there's no evidence of it, and she's made it. Brilliant lift from Trish Porter. The crowd are right behind you, though they love seeing you That's take That's good, and I can stage. hear it. She's encouragement. It's fantastic. Um, I was hoping to get these, and I've got it, so I'm really, really pleased with that. Well, the rest of the women all lifted 80 kilograms, and then the log was raised to 85 kilograms. No problems for Anita or Julie. Next up was Sweden's Anna Rosen, the title holder. And she really needs to lift this. She knows the pressure's on. She needs to get into the next round. Europe's strongest woman is struggling. And she knows it. Anna Rosen has had enough. She has been injured, struggling with a back injury, and perhaps that's the problem. Well, Ilja Streak, a serious competitor, travels with her coach and her therapist to every competition can she lift 85 kilograms balances the log on her knees and now rolls it onto her chest and this is the tough part she's hurting a little can she make it needs the feet still and she's done it Trish Porter We'll need to summon all her strength and energy here. She's struggling a bit at 85 kilograms. The crowd and the competitors getting behind her. 15 seconds remaining. 15 seconds remaining. She may well have another go. Julie Dunkley roaring her on. But Trish has had enough. Now Haney, the joint overall leader. The crowd. Watch on as she tries to lift 85 kilograms. Rolls it onto the chest. No, not a chance. Not a chance, she says. She gives it up while the going's good. Julie Dunkley, who recently won the shot put event at the Great Britain Olympic Trials. She tries to lift 90 kilograms, and this would be a personal best for her. She's made the other weights look pretty easy. Up it goes, and it's there. Personal best for Julie Dunkley, and the first woman to lift 90 kilograms. No good. Okay. Ilja Streak has had enough. She says she doesn't want to lift 90 kilograms. So that just leaves the world's strongest woman, Annette Flortick. If she doesn't lift this, then Julie Dunkley will be the winner. As the rain starts to fall at Glenarm, making it a little more tricky. No worries for Anita Flortick. Well, Julie Dunkley, a win in this discipline, could push her up the overall rankings. 
This is 95 kilograms. The crowd are giving her encouragement. Spreads the legs wide and gets the log onto the chest. Now, can she do the all-important part? I don't think so. Ten seconds. She's had enough. But a good effort, nevertheless. World's strongest woman. Just wiping down the log. The rain is falling at Clenar. 95 kilograms. Well, the way she's walked over to do this, you would think that she'll do it quite easily. This is for an overall win in this discipline. And she's there. And that's why she's the world's strongest woman. Maximum eight points for her. And she takes the overall lead in Europe's strongest woman competition. So after four events, Anita has a useful four-point advantage. But with three events left, the next four women are still in with a chance. Last year at Glenarm, Polish girl Aneta Florta came here for the first time with little experience, but finished an impressive fourth in Europe's Strongest Woman. This year, she's back, but this time, she's the best in the world. My name is Aneta Flortek. I am the world's strongest woman. This is where I live, Malburg. Malburg is a town one hour drive south of Gdansk in northern Poland. Thousands of tourists flock here each year to visit the largest and most impressive Gothic castle in the world. However, Aneta has very little time for sightseeing as she follows a strict training regime with Bogoslaw, her coach. Trenuję dwa razy dziennie, w sumie sześć godzin, sześć razy w tygodniu. Między treningami śpię, bo bardzo lubię. Po powrocie do domu biorę go nocą kąpiel, jem kolację i znowu do łóżka. Mimo tego, że jestem w Strong Woman i uprawiam sporty siłowe, Myślę, że jak każda kobieta lubię dbać o swój wygląd, swoje włosy, paznokcie, makijaż. Lubię chodzić do kosmetyczki i buszować w perfumerii. I like music, especially Led Zeppelin. Hey, hey, mama, set the way you move, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Since becoming world's strongest woman, Aneta has become a major celebrity in Poland. There are TV shows and public appearances to fit in around her training. She doesn't have a special diet, she enjoys pizza and has a very sweet tooth with a particular weakness for Moles Hill, a traditional Polish cake. Aneta is certainly very determined and disciplined, but if she ever feels like slacking, her trainer soon puts her right. She hates me, and I say, if you hate me more, you will be stronger and better. <laughs> W ubiegłym roku na Mistrzostwach Europy zajęłam czwarte miejsce. Był to mój trzeci start. Dwa miesiące później wygrałam Mistrzostwa Świata. W tym roku przyjeżdżam do Irlandii i bardzo chciałabym wygrać. Kamera. The Farmer's Walk is always a really popular event here at Glen Arm. The girls have to try and lift these two 80 kilo cylinders and carry them over and back a 20 meter course. The girl that carries them the furthest gets the eight points. And Haney, this is always a good event for you. You came second last year. How are you feeling today? Well, it's going to be a very tight event, but I really won this. This is Anna Rosen. She was fourth in this event last year. She's gone off like a steam train. Doesn't like this event, she says prefers the power events to the fitness events. Got the two pigtails in today. For aerodynamics, perhaps. Encouraged by the crowd. 
Can she make two lengths? I think she can. Now turns for another circuit. That takes her into the lead. Anna Rosen, the defending champion, in third place overall in the competition. Giving ever Lord of the crowd, and she's finished now. And that's a distance of 59.6 meters and the lead. This is Trish Porter representing Ireland. She doesn't like this event, she says, because of her size. But this is a pretty quick start. Just look at the muscles straining in her neck there. Makes it to the first turn. How far can she get back down this 22 meter course? Oh, she's hurting. I don't think she's going to make it a lot further. She's shouting and roaring at herself. Thirty-four point three meters for Trish Porter. This is Heine Kuivenimi from Finland. Thirty-two-year-old primary school teacher, and she likes this event. I think she'll be disappointed if she doesn't set the best distance here. Second in this event last year, but earlier on in the competition. She won the medley of the tire flip and the duck walk. And this farmer's walk is similar to the duck walk. Well, this is great stuff by the Finn. Finland's strongest woman since 1999. And that's two lengths complete. Now she's heading towards the target. Set by Anna Rosen. Heine lying in second place overall in the competition. Straining just a little. Putting all her effort into it. She's passed Anna Rosen's mark and she's turning for a fourth circuit. That's a great effort by the Finn. And that's a distance of 68 metres. Julie Dunkley in fifth place overall in Europe's strongest woman but a good performance here and she could move up the rankings Julie Tunkley really concentrating hard she's a member of the Great Britain bobsleigh team travelled all around the world last year ending up at the world championships and that athletic background should help her in this discipline on her second length now Getting good encouragement again from the crowd. She still seems pretty solid. Now what has she got left? Can she complete another 22 meter length? Oh, and she just couldn't get them turned straight. You can see them veering off course. And her hands are sore after that. Last competitor in the farmer's walk is the world's strongest woman. Great to see her at Glenarm. <laughs> Annetta Flortick. Now she's got a target of 68 metres to beat. That was set by Heine. Anita leads the competition. But can she stretch her lead? Or can Heine claw some points back? Well, this is quick. But remember, time doesn't matter here. Anita won this discipline at World's Strongest Woman, and that was against the clock. But the winner here is on distance. Two lengths completed. And the style here is excellent. She looks calm, she looks composed. Can she get turned? You can see the cone just on the right-hand side there. That's the mark set by Heine, and she's passed it, and she's well past it. Well, this is a superb exhibition by the world's strongest woman. Four legs. She doesn't need to go any further. A big smile from Anita. She's having a great time at Glenarm. I'm very happy, this is my favorite event.
Nie, nie jest dobry. So Aneta the quickest and a maximum eight points. Second place again for Heine, Anna in third with Julie fourth. And that means Aneta now has a five point advantage from Heine, Anna's in third and Julie two and a half points behind in fourth. Well, this is a top class pairing. Julie Dunkley, winner of the event last year against Anna Rosen. The champion. Well, these yokes weigh 220 kilograms each, and the course is 25 meters long. Well, I fancy Julie will do well here. She won this event in World's Strongest Woman, and she's off at a very quick pace indeed. Anna struggling just a little to keep up with her, but this is a sprint to the line for Julie Dunkley. Great time, 13.68 seconds. Anna's still going well. Her height makes it a little more awkward, but this is a good time too. 23.9 seconds. Well, Julie Dunkley, superb time and stylish celebrations as well. She enjoyed that. Oh, it wasn't that extravagant, it was just a, a cartwheel what I learned in primary school. <laughs> well, this really is a mouth-watering head-to-head. -head. The world's strongest woman, Anita Flortik, against Haney Kuivanimi, lying first and second in the competition. Well, they're smiling before the start, but I guarantee they'll be grimacing before the end. This is a tough event. They're away. Good start by both. Better by Anita. She was second in this event in World's Strongest Woman. Now, can she beat the time set by Julie Dunkley? Well, she's dropped it. Julie Dunkley will win the competition. Anita will be second. And it's all over for Haney. A win for Julie Dunkley gets her a maximum eight points. Anita's in second, Anna third, and Ija in fourth. And overall, Aneta is now nine points ahead of Heine, who had a disappointing yoke race. Aneta now cannot be beaten, but second place is still up for grabs going into the final event with only one point separating the next three women. Well, Emma James from Ireland has never attempted this discipline before lifting the stones. She won the World Powerlifting Championships a few years ago, so she might be fairly useful at this. That's the first 85 kilogram stone lifted. But can she manage 90 kilograms? Gets it onto her knees. Look at the determination there. And the muck of the grass all over the hands. This is not an easy event, let me tell you. She's almost there. Balances it on the knees. Tries to get the arms round this awkward shape. And now he lifts it up onto the barrel. She's almost there. A big crowd at Glenarm. Want one of their local competitors to do well, but she's run out of time. Anna Rosen, the reigning champion, is relinquishing her title this year to Anita Flortek, but she'll want to prove that she's still a champion. 90 kilograms in 13 seconds. That's the fastest so far. Anna Rosen won this event at World's Strongest Woman. 100 kilogram stone without a problem in 24 seconds. This is an awesome performance of strength. 105 kilograms, the fourth stone. She's going to do it in a time of 35 seconds. That is brilliant. And that will be very hard to beat. Amy Quivenimi. Not her favorite event. She manages the first stone quite easily. Now she's lying 
in second place overall in the competition. But unless she lifts all four stones, I've got a feeling that Anna Rosen will move into that second place. Two stones in under 20 seconds. This is the third one. This is a good performance if she can get that up there. She's just balancing it on the edge. Pushes it on up. Three stones in 32 seconds. Now she'll not beat Anna Rosen, but can she be the second girl to lift all four stones? This would be a mighty finish for the Finn. Tries to get it up on top of that barrel. Well, the four stone, always the most difficult. She's got about 20 seconds to get that 105 kilogram stone on top of the barrel, but she's had enough. And Haney will slip to third place overall behind Anna Rosen. Hit me if you want. No. Good job, girl. You fight well. <laughs> so did you. It was, a, it was a very tough fight this year. Cool. <laughs> yeah. We've been very close between the both of you as well the whole way through. Yeah. yeah. I think there's like half a point yeah, or something. It was. It was. Yeah. <laughs> I was very nervous before. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> this is the reigning world champion, and she's taken the title here at Glenarm of Europe's strongest woman. And she'll want to prove she's the best by winning this event as well. Two stones in 13 seconds is very, very fast. Here's the 100 kilogram stone. Three stones up there in 22 seconds. Can she beat Anna Rosen's time of 35.6 seconds? She can. That's why she's the world's strongest woman in under 30 seconds. And that is a brilliant performance by Annetta Florsic. No difference at the top. Annetta is the overall winner with 52 points. But Anna moves into second place and Heine relegated to third. She's the best in the business, Annette Flortek, the world's strongest woman, and now she adds the European title to that as well. James Esther, the marketing manager for P&O RSC, making the presentations, the trophy, along with the very heavy gold medal. The Polish powerhouse triumphs in County Antrim. So Annette Florentek, the world's strongest woman, is now Europe's strongest woman as well. Great competition. Yes, and that is it from Glenarm. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as we did. Bye for now.